What up, guys? Welcome to vlog number three. Rumi, come here. Come here, bud. Come here. Yeah. yeah. Rumi, say welcome to vlog number three. Okay. Um, welcome to vlog number three. Um, I appreciate the feedback and support on the first couple. Uh, it, it's really awesome to see just a little bit of progress, so thank you. Uh, I'm still snowed in. Uh, the rain is just starting to pour, so hopefully in the next two days I can get out of here. I'm planning a trip to Los Angeles as soon as I can to sell some weed, visit my brother and some friends, so that's going to be fun. I don't know if that's going to make it in this vlog, but if not, it will definitely be in vlog four. Uh, and then I'm going to circle back at the end of this video with the content I'm consuming. So I went to bed super encouraged yesterday because of... Uh, yeah, just the support. It's so awesome. So after the last time I recorded, uh, we got a crazy amount of rain. Um, more rain than I've seen in a long time. I'm um, hoping that you guys got to get an idea of the creek where the water's level, where were the water levels, excuse me, were on that. Um, yeah, it melted away the snow immediately. I did get down to Los Angeles, although I didn't really record too much of the process. It was a lot of um, just getting the pounds ready and then getting them down here. I drove through the night, so been down here for a couple days. I went to one of my best friend's bachelor parties this weekend um, and that was awesome. Got to, uh, yeah, de-stress for a moment. Get off the hill, which is always fun. Um, and so, yeah, been selling weed. Um, prices are in that you know, $500, $600 range still for wholesale, which, uh, you know, definitely enough to make a good living, but not, uh, not where they should be still, but keep you updated on that. Um, and so as promised, I wanted to go over some content and some things of value if you're watching in real time. Um, James Clear, he's the author of Atomic Habits, as I'm sure a lot of you or some of you may know, uh, he has an awesome newsletter and uh, he comes out with uh, three short ideas, two quotes, and one question. He calls it the three, two, one. And I'm gonna take that and mimic it somewhat, but I'm going to also uh, change it up and try to put my own twist on it. So I'm going to do uh, one quote two recommendations, whether that be a podcast or a book or anything in between, um, and then three discoveries from vlog to vlog to vlog. So the quote, uh, without further ado, or number one, is learn to value yourself, which means fight for your happiness. And that is by Anne Rand, kind of on a libertarian kick right now with current turbulence of the world and uh, try to break open Atlas Shrugged. It's pretty dense, but that's actually not one of my recommendations. Although, if you have, haven't read Atlas Shrugged, and I'm hypocritically saying this, I think every great scholar has, so I plan to here soon, but shit's so big, it's really dense. Uh, anyways, the two podcast recommendations, so one quote, two recommendations. Recommendations are, um, oh, uh, another Andrew Huberman. It just came out yesterday. It's called Journal Club with uh, Dr. P Dr. Peter Atia. And Peter Atia is, I think, leading the, not necessarily the biohacking space, but the longevity space, along with that dude uh, who helped out Dana White. He, uh, he's either got a great PR team or I think secretly a marketing genius, maybe himself. Um, trying to think of his name, but I can't. Anyways, um, second recommendation is Outlive, and that is by Peter, Peter Atia. So if you haven't read that, it's a one of the probably most powerful books of 2022, 2023, 2023. Yeah, it came out last year, I think. Um, but the theta rate of 
change within not only the medical scene, but the, uh, I think the science and understanding health at the cellular level is pretty impressive. And I don't think it's uh, really appreciated. I mean, it's, it's a lot to digest though, so maybe that's why. Okay, moving forward, uh, the three discoveries. Oh, I already actually, I wrote it down. Gary Brecca was the dude who, he was Dana White's doctor that predicted his death if he were going at the pace that he was going, lifestyle that he was living, um, corrected his lifestyle, and, you know, I think he's done that now for a couple people. But his book is called The 10X Rule. I haven't read it, but... Yeah, so the Brecu, sorry, sorry, discoveries. Okay, so I got down a rabbit hole this week and this might not be the most uh, precise way of explaining this, but trying to break it down in three, three headings or three topics. So if you know me or my friends and family, I think uh, it's not a secret that I love Korean food Anything fermented, anything pickled uh, is where I probably spend most of my time when I'm eating out. And I am obsessed with, uh, I wouldn't say obsessed, but I really, really like uh, sake when it comes to alcohol choices. Um, I really like how in most cultures besides the United States really appreciate rice. It's almost as important as the protein uh, in every single dish, if not more important than the protein in every single dish. So, rice vinegar, I'm not really doing a good job uh, getting into this intro. Long story short, my favorite foods, some of my favorite foods in this world, all come from the exact same origin point, and that origin is through a ferment referred to as koji or kojikin. And it is so wild because if you have ever gotten a moldy piece of bread or if you've ever left a mug out on your refrigerator and you see the mold, the green mold that is super, super common, it's called Asparellus. And um, I might not be pronouncing that perfect, but it is, it's called household mold. It is literally everywhere. And we are taught from a very young age in our culture that it is very bad. I remember hearing a teacher say that it could kill you one time and maybe if you know you don't have an immune system and your body doesn't know how to create antibodies and so on uh, that might be the case however asparellus is the is the starter ferment for my favorite foods in the world this household common mold and a lot of people think of it as rot and it's not i mean that's a lot more aggressive but soy sauce sake rice vinegar vegetable pickles like the cucumber the chili i don't know if you ever had them they're really really good sold for given with most korean dishes miso um yeah and that's just kind of scratching the surface so it's just yeah it's to me to me mind-boggling and i know that's not necessarily three discoveries i had it broken down as discovery one my first my favorite ferments, my favorite foods are fermented with the same starter. Two, it's called kojikin. It's a rice, oh, I didn't even explain how it starts or how you do it. It's a rice ferment. So you literally just cook rice and I imagine you put a cheesecloth over it. I'll attach a video. You can inoculate it probably with some pre-existing kojikin, either that you can get from a friend or online or whatever and then kind of create your ever-growing ferment. However, uh, you allow it to just sit at probably room temperature and allow that asparellus to just cover the whole thing. And at that point, you can take the spores or you can take the, the layer of, of the fruiting bodies and that is your koji can. And that is what you will use from fish sauce to everything. It's just, it's, yeah, rice rot, rice mold. So if you like soy sauce, you like rice mold, which is nuts. And then three, um, 
yeah, run in circles here. That's it. Didn't do a whole lot of recording in between weeks. It was a lot of chaos. Just staying indoors, nonstop. Nonstop grinding. Feels so much better to be here uh, than it used to be just because of the frequency. I'm not in LA nearly as much, so taking three or four showers a day and scrubbing manicures, pedicures, get a C. I guess Loki has Remy's daughter. She actually came from the hills, but now she's a spoiled city girl. But yeah, feels really good. I don't know if I would love to be here permanently. Although after the bachelor party this weekend, kind of really put things into perspective. Life's happening super quick and um, sometimes I feel like it's just happening while I am so distant and not trying to play victim. I really do love my lifestyle. The balance is not, um, it's not as achievable these days just because I don't have the I don't have the man. It's not mandatory for me to be in LA at the moment. I think so. It's a lot easier for me to justify saving money and putting my equity back into the farm instead of just kind of hemorrhaging cash down here and building a brand and all these things are important and coming down here is a necessity, but uh, I was doing it every two weeks back and forth every two weeks for years. And now it's just, Really nice to visit. So I'm thankful. Love seeing my friends and family and I'll try to get some activities, some of the buyers, some of the transactions, maybe some other flavors. Loop that into the next vlog if I can. Yeah, but that's all I got for this one. Still in the works, so I appreciate the patience, but hope you guys uh, are enjoying the process. Thank you.